and today I'm on another Kai Tours adventure. This time we're heading out to Sian Can. Now this is somewhere that not a lot of people get to. It's a nature reserve in the Riviera Maya and I don't know an awful lot about it other than we're going to get to see some really cool wildlife hopefully. Juan, can you tell us a little bit about Sian Can and yes. the kind of things I'm going to be able to see today? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Here in Sian Can Biosphere, mm -hmm. uh, well, uh, lots of wildlife encounter can, can happen, yeah? What it mainly attracts uh, visitors' attention is the high, high chances, like uh, higher than maybe 85, 90% chances of seeing wild dolphins. That's definitely something that really uh, people want to see nowadays. Mm -hmm. uh, also, uh, turtles, a nice amount of turtles. We're talking about green turtles or hawksbill turtles, loggerheads, uh, these kind of turtles, uh, sea turtles we're talking about. Mm -hmm. And then a nice large amount of um, birds, yeah, like frigates, cormorants, pelicans, depending on the time of the year, flamingos, spoonbills, colorful tropical birds that are really Amazing. in the bucket list of many, many travelers. Awesome. I also heard that there might be a chance of seeing some manatees out here. That's very correct. That's very correct. Some areas, uh, it's mm, very likely we can see them. Yes, you're right. So if you're a nature lover, this is the place to come. You're not going to be able to get in the water and swim with the dolphins. Sorry, that's not going to happen here. But you can actually see them in the wild, not in the nasty dolphinariums that are in some of the hotels. Cool. Here we are. This is Paso Lagartos now. This is the moment where we leave our van behind and we get our boat. Yeah? So be sure you're taking your cameras, sunglasses, rush guards, hats, something to protect from the sun. Yeah? Sandals are preferred rather than sneakers or also barefooting. Yeah, barefooting is fun. Yeah? Uh, just be sure you get all the sand out before you go on board. Yeah? Uh, if there is something captains don't love, it's bananas on board and sand. Okay, so be sure you go sand free and then the plan is to, to go on board, yeah? So uh, as, as soon as you're ready, let's rock it. So far we have seen dolphins, there was actually three, there was two females and a kind of teenager who were splashing around, that was really amazing. And then on our way to this place, which is called Isla Pajaro, Pajara? I think that's right, basically means bird island, um, we, well, one person saw a turtle but then we didn't see it again and we saw a starfish. So here at bird island, you can see behind me, there are lots of pelicans and some baby pelicans. Boobies, I think that's the correct name. <laughs> and frigates as well. They're the most, the two most common birds here are pelicans and frigates. We don't know why they like this place, but this is like their hangout place. And there's three trees um, in this part of the water. And they just kind of chilling up there, hanging out. This is like their meeting place.
just arrived at Punta Allen, which is the place where we're going to have some lunch today. Up until now, this tour has been incredible. Um, Siang Khan actually means where the sky is born. And there have been so many points today where you can really see that. The horizon pretty much meets the sky and you're not sure which is which. It is an animal lover's dream coming here. To be able to see the dolphins in the wild in their natural environment has been amazing. So you have a couple of different options for this tour. They have a small group tour, which is a maximum of six people, and that happens every Saturday. Or if you can't do Saturday, then you can also organize a private tour um, for a maximum of six people. It's been an incredible day. From being picked up this morning, greeted with fresh coffee, to a fantastic time seeing the dolphins in the wild. And then we had an amazing lunch at Punta Allen. Um, our guide, Juan, was great. Which you don't expect anything less from Kai Tours. He was really knowledgeable. He was able to explain lots of things about the different wildlife that we saw today. And yeah, totally recommend this tour. Remember, the group tours happen every Saturday, but if you want to do a private tour, that can be done any day of the week. That's all from me.